Hello and welcome to a Garris Mod poster making tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to make posters as good as I do. And I'm not the best at what I do, but please consider joining the Garris Mod R Discord server, links in the description. Okay, first thing to explain whenever it comes to Garris Mod poster making is what exactly is a Garris Mod poster? Since I see so many bad stuff in Gmod and people consider them posters and I'm like, no, that's a screenshot, it's not a poster. I don't care if you render it using the poster command, it's it's a screenshot, it's not a poster. Finally to the main part of the video, what actually defines a poster. This is the perfect map for poster making. The actual fact that you're able to make posters look this good using an engine from 2004 is just amazing. And that's why GM Black is perfect since it has no baked lights and allows you to use your own lamps. People don't even realize what GM Black can actually accomplish, since it has no baked lights. So here, if you actually look at these images, one of them is using baked lights, except it also has lamps, one of them is just baked lights, and one of them is being rendered. So here you actually have the screenshot version of a poster I made, and here you have the actual rendered version. So now if I split this in half, you will see the big difference. One other uh, major difference between screenshots and posters is that, well, one of them actually uses Photoshop. I've noticed most screenshots do a very bad job, and I'm not talking about just like green screens and stuff. Now, I'm not saying if you don't Photoshop a poster, then it's not actually a poster. I'm just saying if you don't use Photoshop, then I would consider it in the role of a semi-poster. Oh, composition. One of those things someone can be really good at, and then you have those people who suck. The only advice I can give for composition would be the rule of thirds, which I'm not the best at, but here's a man who is. So anyone who's ever taken a film, photography, or media course at school or college or whatever will almost certainly have heard of the rule of thirds concept. It's essentially a series of lines on every single frame of your video and your goal or the rule is to make sure that your subject or points of interest line up with those lines or intersections or at least every single one of those squares should attempt to tell the story or the punchline or whatever it is that you're trying to tell it's quite a weird concept but it's arguably the most important thing to have in mind whenever you're shooting or animating anything because it will turn even the most basic shots into something that looks appealing or interesting. I would seriously recommend checking this guy's videos out since he is amazing at what he does. And now moving on to lighting. The reason why I'm bringing up the rule of thirds is because I've noticed most screenshots don't exactly um, give you a subject or something to stare at, which lighting can also do the same thing. And now we're back with the threes. Rule of thirds, and now we have three-point lighting. And you probably don't know what you're looking at, so let me just give a quick explanation. So, um, the camera is right about here. Your fill light is going to be your brightest light, and shining towards the object. Your key light is going to be your second brightest. And your backlight, the brightness can vary on this. Sometimes it'll be brighter than your fill light, sometimes it'll be darker. It just depends on whatever scene you're making. So if you look at this image, you can see that his key light is somewhat up here, his his fill light is over here, and his backlight is somewhere over here. Although three-point lighting isn't really needed to actually say the difference between a screenshot and a poster, I'd say it's still pretty necessary. And yes, I did definitely try my best to explain and give the best reasons possible to show the difference between a screenshot and a poster, it's just not a very common topic. So, no one else has really gave any of their thoughts into this. And yes, I know some of you screenshot creators out there are probably questioning and saying, Hey, but I think my stuff is good! And I say, yeah, it might be good to you, but if you show it off in public, not everyone's gonna like it. Well, you've made it to the end of 4 minutes and 20 seconds of me constantly video editing. And about that last part at the end, the only reason why I'm saying that is because I've noticed a lot of bad screenshots and I try not to say they're bad, except if you post some of this stuff in like my Garrismont Art Discord server, 
then I will be fine there since it's at least not super in public. Anyways, hopefully you stay to watch however many more parts there is going to be to this, and bye!